Hello friends and welcome back to the channel. On today's episode I am finally going to be building my Battlestar Galactica Colonial Viper from the original TV series. Now ever since I built my Cylon Raider I have been looking for one of these and you know they've been a little hard to find and quite pricey but fortunately my brother-in-law Kevin was able to locate one of these and he got it for me so thank you very much Uncle Kevin. You're awesome. All right, so this is not the original kit. It is sort of vintage. This particular kit in this box and everything was released in 1997. However, the original, which was a monogram, was released in 1978. The one that I built when I was a kid was the original monogram from 1978, but I don't believe there's any enhancements to the kit. I think uh, in 1996, they came out with a better decal sheet. Other than that, it's just been new boxes. However, back in 2007, they re-released it with some new parts. Um, and I think it was mostly just a cockpit and a pilot. I'm not 100% sure. If you know the differences, please leave me a note down in the uh, comments and let me know what the differences are. Someday I'd like to get one of the new Mobius kits. I think that that one just looks amazing. It's got really well detailed parts. Of course, I'd also love to have a Mobius version of the Cylon Raider to go with it, but that's uh, down the road a bit. So let me move a few things around here and we'll get into the box. Okay, and by the way, if you'd like to see my full video, uh, I have two videos of my Cylon Raider build. I'll leave a link down in the description. Please go check that out. All right, let's get into the box. This box is um, a little worn and tattered, but uh, again, being that this is from the 90s or late 97, uh, I'm okay with that. Some pictures of the Viper and the Battlestar Galactica, the Cylon base, and of course the Cylon Raider. And I've got a side view of the Viper there. All right. Uh, all the parts are still in the bag. So let's set that aside for a second. We've got our basic instructions. This is not a challenging kit to put together. However, the real trick is the painting and detailing, which is what I'm looking forward to doing. And that's, that's that, okay. We have the decals, which are a little yellowed, but they don't look, they don't look bad. So hopefully I'll be able to use these. They don't look like they've been damp or anything. So hopefully those will work. If not, I can probably paint most of that. All right, let's set this aside. Let's open up the bag, which is already partially open. So I'm just okay couple parts are loose from the trees, that's okay. Here's our rear thruster. Yep, this is bringing back a lot of memories. I loved building this kit when I was younger. We've got our nose cone, kind of a little dinged up and damaged there, but um, we'll make that look good. So I do know that originally there was a little torpedo that would launch from here. Um, my monogram kit, however, did not have that. So I don't know exactly when they removed that little launching torpedo from this kit. If you know, let me know in the comments. Um, but it was obviously after I got my original kit. We've got the one side of the hull. The plastic feels a little dirty. So definitely gonna clean this up in some good cleaner. Some nice little detail there, some raised panel lines. And here was the part where I think you hook the rubber band to that helped launch the uh, torpedo. And this is where the button would go. All right, um, oops, I got more parts falling off the tree. There's a wing with some wing detail on there. Nice. Got our intakes, sides with our engine halves, lower portion, one of our laser cannons. Hmm. Hey, you know what? This is actually, I believe that's the part for the launcher, but I don't know if all the parts are there. We'll have to see. Maybe this one came with the, the little launcher. Maybe not. I don't see a torpedo anywhere. But anyways, 
We've got our base, our stand, our cockpit top, our inlet vents, the other side of the uh, engines, the other upper wing, and the other side of the hull. Everything looks to be pretty straight. Doesn't look like there's any warping of parts, so that's great. All right, and that's all of our parts. So again, a very simple, basic build. Uh, the fun part will really be the detailing. So, looks like there'll be some minor cleanup on these parts, nothing major. That's great to see. So let me get uh, this all cleaned back up and we'll get to the build.
you use the locating pins on this part, when you glue it together, you can feel a ridge where the wing pieces meet. I simply removed the locator pin so I could glue the wing together without that lip. Then it'll be easier to sand and fill the gap. Since the color of the Viper is going to be a light gray, I used Mission Model's white primer for this part. This will make it easier for me to do my pre-shading and then final color for the hull. This kit has very faint panel line detail and it's raised, so I'm using some Vallejo German Black to pre-shade those lines so I'll be able to make those appear a little more once I start applying the final color. This will overall bring out a lot of detail in what normally wouldn't have much detail at all.
for the stripes around the engine inlets, I painted them a base color of dark aluminum and then I masked them off. Now, when I add the top coat, I'll have my silver stripes around the inlets. This way I don't have to mess with using the decals. Now, I'm laying down my top coat of my main color. I'm being careful not to spray too much so that I don't lose my details from the pre-shading I did earlier. Surprisingly, these old decals still worked great. I'm adding some weathering by using an enamel wash from Ammo called Starship.
Okay, and here we have the completed Colonial Viper by Ravel Monogram. So, originally I built this kit in the late 70s, probably 78 or 79. So, I was about 10 or 11 years old. Now, I remember it pretty clearly because I built it while I was living with my grandparents and they bought the kit for me while we were at a local Kmart. I built the kit straight out of the box and colored it with some permanent markers to detail the engines and a few other parts. Now, being your average 10 year old and a huge fan of the show, this kit didn't sit on a shelf. I played with it until it fell apart. And then I'm sure I salvaged it many times with fresh glue and I honestly don't remember ever getting rid of it. So 40 plus years later, here we are and I've been able to revisit one of my fond memories and build another one. Now, this one won't get played with, well, not as much anyways, and it will eventually be proudly displayed in my collection next to my Cylon Raider. You can check out that build video. I'll leave the link to the playlist below. Now, after the build and doing some more investigating, I came across a few things that I figured out. I think this kit is kind of a mixed bag. The box is definitely from 1979, however, I believe the kit is one of the original monogram kits from 78 and it must be a very early version of it. Now the reason I think that is because this kit has all of the components of the missile launcher. As you can see here, here is the bracket, the clip, and the little uh, assembly with the button that you would push to release the missile from the launcher. Now when I built my kit back in the 70s, I did not have these parts included, but the instructions showed it. So I thought, wow, I got gypped off, I'm missing some parts. Eh, no big deal, I built the kit. Also, the decals in this kit are the original monogram decals and not the Ravel monogram ones. So I believe someone put an old original monogram kit and decals in this newer box with a newer set of instructions. Not that it matters, but I just think it's cool that I now have the parts they shorted me all those years ago, and I considered including the missile launcher in the build, but in the end I just decided not to. Okay, so let's put those out of the way. Now, I built this kit uh, kind of out of box. I didn't really do any heavy modification, and the kit is a pretty simple build. I did add a little something inside the inlet here to resemble, I don't know, just something so it wasn't a hole. Um, and I think that looks okay. I did the same kind of situation on my Cylon Raider. Um, the kit went together as I remembered. It went together very well. Uh, the seam here was not horribly bad. I was able to clean it up very well. Now, the whole, you know, the intriguing part of building this kit is in the details. And I think I did a good job. I wanted it to really resemble a fighter that had been out there a while and been in a lot of battles. So it's got some battle damage, it's got some scarring, and I think it came out looking really well. Now the decals are the original decals in the kit. Now those are the monogram decals, so they're from the 78 era uh, or around there. So the fact that they went on uh, without any problems was pretty impressive. However, I did chip them up because I didn't want it to look like a pristine Colonial Viper. I wanted it to look damaged and weathered, so I chipped up the decals in some places. Now, <clears throat> excuse me, now, those decal chipping are not from the decals coming apart. The decals, again, went down very well. The bottom is pretty standard, not much going on here. Now, this hole here is where the button would be to launch the missile out of the tube. Now, I was gonna fill that in, but I decided not to because um, I'm gonna display this next to my Colonial Viper, which is mounted on the wall. So I'm gonna use this hole to help me mount the, this Viper on the wall next to the Cylon Raider. This here is the hole for the stand, and I decided, yeah, I'm just gonna leave that. I mean, it doesn't look bad, and no one's really gonna see it but me, so I left that. So there we have my completed Colonial Viper. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. If you're interested in these parts, these extra parts for the missile launcher, 
uh, let me know in the comments and uh, reach out to me. My email is in the uh, description below. I'm sure we can uh, get these off to someone who wants them. I really enjoyed building this kit. It was a fun trip down memory lane and it really came out good. It's going to look really great next to my Cylon Raider that I did a year or so ago. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, I urge you to please subscribe. It really helps out the channel. And if you have any questions or comments, let me know in the uh, comment section below. And as always, friends, be safe out there and go build something.